Hello everyone, welcome to my channel for Nursing Exams Learning. We'll start with our today's question. The nurse is performing an assessment on a two-day-old infant with a suspected hairspring disease. Which findings should the nurse anticipate? Select one that apply. So here the question directly asks, when a client suspected with hairspring disease and the age of the client is two-day-old infant. So what are the clinical features or what are the expected findings? That is the question asked. What should the nurse anticipate? See, whenever you will see the such kind of words, you should read twice and should understand. So now we will read the options. Option 1 says bright red bleeding from the anus. Option 2, distended abdomen. Option 3, has not passed stool or meconium. Option 4, non bilious vomiting. Option 5, refusal to feed. I hope some of you have an idea about Hirschsprung disease. It is very important to have an idea about this particular disease to get the correct answers. So before going to the answer, we'll just have an idea about this disease. What is Hirschsprung disease? When a child born and some part of the or some section of the distal large intestine missing with the nerve cells. So if the nerve cell is missing, what will happen? Either anal spindle could not able to relax and there will not be no peristalsis. So what will happen? Stool will not pass. We know that when a child born, in the normal, the first stool the child will pass is called meconium. And that will usually pass within the first 24 to 48 hours. But a child with this condition or a child with a suspected Hirschsprung disease, they will not pass the meconium or the first stool within the expected time period of 24 to 48 hours. So as a result, the child may have an distended abdomen and no one exhibits symptoms of distal intestinal obstruction. Then they will also have difficulty feeding and often vomit green bile. So these are some of the points related to what is Hirschsprung disease and what is the exact pathology and why the child is not passing the stool and what are some of the signs if the child has this particular problem. I hope it's clear to you. Now we will come back to the question. See the first option says bright red bleeding from anus. What do you think? Does that an answer? No. Because we said that the distal anal spindle could not able to relax and there is no peristaltic movement and the child will not pass the meconium. Then how will be this happen? See here you can see the explanation. The bright red bleeding from the rectum would not occur. And this one usually uh, may have uh, with the child those who have a meckles diverticulum. It is a condition. A remnant umbilical cord that should have disintegrated at 8 weeks in utero but became an outpost in the small intestine. So the first option is wrong. That is not an anticipated finding in a client or an infant with the Hirschsprung disease. But it can be seen in another condition that is called Meckel's diverticulum. So you study one more topic here is that. Now we will see the second option. So we have eliminated the option 1. Then option 2 says distended abdomen. That is the correct thing. Because the child will not pass stool and there is no peristalsis and the obstruction will be there and the abdomen will be distended. So option 2 is our correct answer. Then option 3 has not passed stool or meconium. Yeah, that's also correct. Because of the no missing nerve cells, there will not be peristalsis and obstruction, the stool will not pass. Then option 4 says non bilious vomiting. That is a wrong statement. You know why? Because usually a child with a Hirschsprung disease, it will be bilious vomiting. Because in the Hirschsprung disease, the pathology is distal to the colon or it is distal to the uh, large intestine. In the non bilious vomiting, usually we will see in condition where the pathology is proximal to the pylorus. For example, hypertrophic pyloric stenosis. So, in hypertrophic pyloric illness, usually we will see non bilious vomiting, but when we will come to the Hirschsprung disease, it will be bilious vomiting. That is the expected finding. So, option 4 also a wrong answer. Then the last option says refusal to feed. 
So what do you think? It is a correct answer. We said that the client have a sign symptom of feeding difficulty or refuse to feed. So our option, correct options are option 2, option 3 and option 5. And we studied also option 1, 4, it's a wrong answer and why it is wrong and in which condition this could be a right answer or this could see. Hope it's clear to you. If in this picture also you can see how the Hirschsprung disease, how the intestine. If you have any difficulty to understand, if you have any confusion or doubt, please put in the comment box. We'll try to include the points related to those. And I wish you all the best. We'll see with a new topic on the coming video. Bye-bye.